Hi everyone, Sweat Trainer Kalitsinas here and I am here with Women's Health UK. Now this is part of my 28 day plan and I am so excited because today I'm bringing you an abs and arms workout which is 14 minutes and can be done anywhere, anytime. So let's get started. So this workout is broken into two circuits, four exercises per circuit. The first exercise is lay down push up. Then an X mountain climber, a bent leg raise, and an X plank. Then circuit two, four exercises as well. We've got a caterpillar walk, a side plank, commando, and then some ab bikes. So as you know, warming up is very important. So right now we're going to warm up our upper body. So I want you to follow along with me right now. Okay, now we've done the warm up, it is time to get into that workout. So, seven minutes starts now, follow along. Okay, the first exercise we have, everyone, is a lay down push up. So, you're going to lay down on the ground from push up position, hands out, hands in, and lift yourself back up, pushing all the way up, lower yourself back down, hands out, hands in, and back up. Now, what you want to do when you're doing this is you do not want to touch the floor as your hands come out or as they come back in. And you're placing your hands quickly underneath your shoulders and pushing back up. Now, the modification to this is obviously on your knees, down, out, and back in. And if you want, also you can drag your hands along the ground and bring them back in. So out, drag along the ground, drag back in and around, and back up. So we're doing 10 of these. And also remember, always go at your own pace. Well done, okay, so we're moving on. We're going to X mountain climber. So we're coming up into push-up position. What we have is we've got 20 of these. So there's 10 per side. You're gonna count out 20 by touching your knee to your opposite elbow or getting pretty close. <laughs> so let's go across. Now you can run these if you want, but today we're gonna to do them nice, slow and controlled. Again, going at your own pace, counting out that 20. You don't wanna set yourself back so what you're going to do, what you don't want to do, is this motion or too far forward in this motion. Because that's a lot of strain on your shoulders. So nice and strong and just count those 20 out. Perfect. Okay, we're moving into a bent leg raise. So you get to lie down. Back, hands underneath. So you're placing your hands like this, underneath, knees in, and you're coming out and back in. Now, common mistake people way too much into their feet so they go up their back comes up and then they'll roll back down so what you want to do lift your head slightly core on take your legs out as far as you'd like to take them out and bring them back in so you don't have to do the full extension if you don't want to and you don't feel comfortable for people who are following along with me we're doing it like this so you're doing 15 of these all the way in head up head down whatever feels comfortable for you that's really good making sure that you're breathing. Another common mistake is people hold their breath through this so they go and then you end up feeling quite ill. So make sure that you're breathing through exercises. We're moving into an X plank. So back into that push-up position, you're gonna get your right hand, touch it to your left foot. Again, modifying this, you can touch your knee on either side, but you really want that nice bend you are trying to feel your abs here. Again, common mistakes. 
hands are too close or hands are too far away and you end up reaching for nothing. So reaching to your opposite foot and you're counting these out. That's good. Well done. Once you've got to 16, we're going back to the start, which is down into that lay down push up. Now feel free to take your time through these. Feel free to grab a drink, take a small 15 second break if you need to. But ideally, I would like you to work through this seven minutes while modifying the workout and the intensity to suit you. So this is your lay down push up modified. Make sure you're breathing through this workout. And moving into that X mountain climber. Slow and controlled. What you're trying to feel, ladies, is you're trying to feel that ab area. You're not trying to feel like your wrists are sore or your shoulders are sore, if they are. Hands. And you can rest like this. As long as you're on a carpet, you've got a bit of a mat, keeping those wrists nice and strong, nice and straight. Good. Moving on to that bent leg raise. Hands underneath. Out and back in. Out and back in. You can modify touching the floor even and come back up. Touching the floor and come back up or only coming out to where you feel comfortable. Again, I raise my head. That makes me feel comfortable. Totally up to you. That's it. Keep it going. Two minutes and 20 seconds to go. And into that X plank, touching that opposite foot. Now, you want to remember to come back always into push-up position. So if there's anything you can remember, it's always push-up position, then touch that opposite foot, push-up position, then touch the opposite foot. So don't feel like you have to rush through this. When I'm doing it, if you want to look at me now, this is probably the intensity that I'll do it. This is the fastest I would go. But if I'm really concentrating, nice and slow and controlled. Very good. Keep up the good work. That's it. Breathing, breathing, always into that push-up position into a lay-down push-up. 90 seconds to go. So get those 10 push-ups in, out, in, and up. Again, down your knees if you're wanting to modify. Push all the way up. Ladies, I want you to think about tensing a few other things. I want you to think about your glute muscles. I want you to think about your core. I don't want you to just think about pushing yourself up. I also don't want you to throw yourself back down onto the floor like that. Slow and controlled each way. One minute to go. That's good. Moving in to those X mountain climbers. Slow and controlled. Again, you can run these, I do like so, but you can also nice, slow and controlled. Really feel those abs. Again, if your wrists are hurting, this is the way to go. Got 30 seconds. Going into a bent leg raise. Let's go last 30 seconds from now. Out, in, out, and in. Well done, keep up the good work. So doing 15 of those. So this is probably the pace that I would go at. This is not the pace that I want you to go at if you don't want to. Remember, modify, slow and controlled. So 10 seconds, nine, eight, let's see if we can quickly turn around, seven, six, you got five seconds, four, three, two, one, and you're done. Well done, that is circuit one done. Take a big deep breath, get a drink and get ready for circuit two.
Okay, we are starting circuit two. So start that seven minute timer. We're gonna start with 10 caterpillar walks. So what you're doing is you're going one, two, three, four, and out, and doing the exact same thing back in. So we're walking out into push up position and coming back in 10 times. That's it, out and back in. Now, if you're feeling like that is too much for you, you can actually do it on your knees. You're probably not gonna feel the same, but this is the modification to that exercise. So I'll be doing this, in and out, follow along. Once you've got to 10 reps, move on. So you're standing straight up, making sure that your core is on, glutes are tense. Well done, everyone. Okay, now we're moving into a side plank. Now this is 30 seconds per side. So what you wanna do, you can scatter your feet one foot forward, one foot back. Make sure your arm is nice and straight, shoulder in line, you're coming up, tensing through the side and arm up. Now there are many ways to do a side plank. So you can go down onto your knees, you can have one foot out, you can have one foot up, or to make it even harder, you can have like this. Perfect. So I won't be doing that. I'm just going to hold this side plank. And what you want to do is breathe. Again, I would love if you started in this position and then you move down like so. Swapping sides. So start up if you can. And then if you want, after a few seconds, you're feeling like this is quite difficult, you can then drop down onto your knees. But for now, much as you can, hold that side plank. You've got 10 seconds to go. Nine, eight, seven, six. You've got five seconds, keep holding. Four, three, two. You're not gonna like me, but we're gonna move into commandos. So down and back up. I think this is probably most people's most hated exercise, but it is so great. So if you want to modify this exercise, you can do a shoulder tap. So you're basically taking your hand and touching your opposite shoulder. You can also drop down onto your knees, so don't forget that either. And you're just going through the motions, doing those reps. That's it, perfect. Once you've completed those 10 reps, you're moving into ab bikes. 30 reps ab bikes. So touching your opposite elbow to knee, now, common mistakes with this is people don't rotate at their torso and they just move their elbows towards the knees. This is not correct. So you want to have one leg out and you want to rotate your torso across and touching that opposite knee, fully extending your leg. You also want to modify this if you, like so. That's your modification. So let's get those 30 reps in. We're moving back into that caterpillar walk. Perfect. Straight up, moving to your back of your mat. And we are walking out and walking back in. As you come up to the top, try and take a nice deep breath. Out into a push-up position and back in. Really focus on your core. And if you want to modify this, guys, you can do it from your knees, but you can also do a hover to plank. So you can go in and back out. And in, so if that feels more comfortable for anyone, there's a modification for you, but I'm just gonna continue with that. Caterpillar walk for a few more. Coming up, nice deep breath, and back out. Perfect, well done, going back into that side plank. We're doing 30 seconds per side. Nice deep breath, focusing on tensing. You don't wanna drop down, you don't wanna overextend Keeping that nice straight line. You can drop down to your knees halfway if you would like. Leg out. There are a lot of different things that you can do. So what you really want to make sure when you're doing this is that your shoulder and your elbow are in line. Swap sides. And up. Good. Holding that nice deep breath. It's perfect. Doing really well. You can drop down halfway if you like. Hold that for 10 more seconds. Nine, eight, seven, 
six. I'm only smiling because we're doing commandos next. That's what personal trainers do, don't they? Turning over and straight into those commandos. Up and back down. When you're doing this, you don't want to rock side to side too much. You want to try and keep yourself quite straight. Remember, you can drop down to your knees to do those commandos. Doing a really good job, everyone. And then we're gonna get straight back into those ab bikes with 90 seconds to go. There's 30 ab bikes, leg all the way out. So the pace that I would do an ab bike in, if you wanna look at the screen now, is probably this. And that might be a little bit too fast. You can always go at your own pace, nice and slow. In fact, the slower you go, the more controlled, the more burn you'll be able to feel. And then the modification to this is like this. Keep going guys, breathing. Don't forget, do not hold your breath. We've got one minute to go. Let's see how much we can get done in this last minute. Caterpillar walk in and out. You're getting in those 10 reps every time you stand up. It's obviously one. Remember, you can always modify this. Hover to plank, in and back out. That's what you like. That's what feels more comfortable. Keep it going. We've got 30 seconds. Let's squeeze in. Side plank. Let's just do 15 seconds per side. So up. Really concentrate. We've only got 15 seconds on this side. Really good. And swapping sides as quickly as you can. Your last 15 seconds. Whoopsies, there we go. 10 seconds, nine, eight, seven, six, five seconds, four, three, two, one, and done. Well done, everyone. Fantastic work, that is circuit two done. Now, if you wanna make this a little bit harder, you can repeat circuit one and circuit two to make it a 28 minute workout. But for now, we're done. Make sure you follow along with Women's Health UK on YouTube. The cool down is below and I will see you next time. Bye.